Juki e-learning. Basic knowledge of sewing. Lock stitching. Introduction. Six major elements of machine sewing. Zero two. What are the six major elements of machine sewing? Sewing machines that make lock stitches are comprised of six major mechanisms. These are called the six major elements of machine sewing, referring to the needle bar, hook, thread take-up, feed, presser foot, and thread tension. These elements are essential for the basic performance of a sewing machine, which uses a needle and thread to sew multiple pieces of fabric together. To improve the quality of your sewing, you must understand the roles that each of these six major elements play in machine sewing. The following is a brief explanation of these six major elements. Chapter 1, Needle Bar. 1-1, one, one, Functions of the Needle Bar. The needle bar of a sewing machine has two primary functions. One is to drive the needle up and down to pierce the fabric with the needle. The other is to transfer the needle thread to the hook so that the tip of the hook catches the needle thread after the thread is passed through the fabric. To delay the hook timing, first remove the inner hook holder and loosen the screw on the hook. Then, adjust the hook so that the tip of the hook becomes aligned with the center of the needle when the bottom timing mark on the needle bar is higher than the bottom end of the needle bar metal, lower under the machine housing. When delaying the hook timing, do not have the bottom timing mark more than approximately one timing mark interval higher than the bottom end of the needle bar metal lower. If hook timing is delayed too much, there is a risk of contact between the hook tip and the needle eye. Hook timing delay adjustment could also be effective when the thread gets tensioned too much. 3-2. Types of thread take-ups. This section explains about different types of thread take-ups. The link type thread take-up has a take-up crank turned by the rotating main shaft so as to move the take-up lever up and down. This is the type of take-up that is most widely used in common single needle lock stitch sewing machines. The link type thread take-up mechanism has low mechanical stress and therefore is suited for high speed rotating machines. 4-2 Types of feed mechanisms. There are various types of feed mechanisms on a sewing machine. Selecting the type of feed mechanism that is most suitable for the sewing application and the material being sewn will improve sewing quality and work efficiency. This section explains about different types of feed mechanisms. 5-2, types of presser feet. Presser foot design has evolved over the years in order to better handle different types of sewing materials. Various types of presser feet are available. It is important to choose the type of presser foot that is best suited for the sewing process and the material to be sewn. This section explains about the most typical types of presser feet. 6-4, Needle Thread Tension Controlling Elements. This section explains about machine elements that control needle thread tension. 641 Needle Thread Tension Controller. 
There are three types of needle thread tension controllers. Tension disc type, rotary tension type, active tension type. The tension disc type is the most widely used type of needle thread tension controller. The tension disc type tension controller has the needle thread passed between a pair of tension discs, onto which spring pressure is applied from one side to tension the thread. When the thread thickness changes, pressure on these tension discs will change accordingly to alter the needle thread tension. 7.3. Basic Knowledge of Sewing, Lock Stitching We hope this e-learning program about the six major elements of machine sewing will help you understand what role each of these elements play in supporting the machine sewing process and how they affect production efficiency and sewing quality, which will be a valuable asset in your everyday work. Knowledge obtained from this program will be useful as you learn to be able to resolve sewing problems that may be experienced in actual sewing operation. This is the end of the lock stitching chapter of our Basic Knowledge of Sewing program.